everyone. I hope you all are doing well. I just realized that I did not film an intro for this video. So if you guys want to know how I did this or this, then just keep watching. So let's get into it. I always start with like a zigzag parting. I don't really like doing straight parts because trying to either combine it or pick out both sides at the end is really hard. So I typically start with a Z parting and then I put one half up. This is the scarf that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to be splitting it in half and then pinning it down on one side to anchor it so that way it doesn't come loose while I am in the process of wrapping it. You're also going to want to use a scarf that is relatively either the same length or just a little bit longer than your hair. And then what you're going to want to do is start off with small straight sections or as straight as you can get, but you're going to end up trying to curl along the side of your head while you're in the process of doing the twist. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm also going to try and explain this to the best of my abilities, so bear with me. In your left hand, you're going to grab the scarf. In the right hand, that is going to be the loose strands of hair. That is going to be the positions for the whole twist. What you're going to want to do then is with your right hand, cross over to your left hand, that loose piece of hair. And then what you are going to do then is cross back over with your left hand to that right hand back under that scarf so that way it completes that first twist or that first part of the curl. You're then what you're going to do with your left hand is create a second strand or a second line and then you're going to grab with your right hand that new strand of hair and then you're going to cross back over with your left hand to grab the scarf and pull it taut. Then what you are going to do is grab with your left hand that loose hair and then with your right hand grab the scarf and you're going to kind of continue that twisting pattern throughout by grabbing with your left hand always a new strand of hair and then with your right hand always crossing over the scarf and then you're always going to just make sure not to add any new hair to the scarf by just maintaining the scarf on its own. I hope I explained that well. If not, I'm sorry. Just to the best of y'all abilities, it's a simple flat two strand twist, but instead of adding hair, you're, I, yeah, I'm not a hairstylist. Enjoy. <laughs> Sorry, last time. Most important thing while doing this twist is to make sure that you are laying the hair as flat as possible because that will really help with like a ringlet effect or like the fullness that I get with it like it really does help so like if, as you watch you'll see me try and keep it as flat as possible if anything that is like one of the most major things I have learned while doing this hairstyle is making sure that it stays flat
up to the end, this is probably the most important part as far as getting the curls to be like perfectly curled. When you get to the end, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you are folding the hair essentially over top of itself. So creating the ringlet. So while you're doing this, make sure that it stays really nice and taut or else it will kind of mess up and then once you get to the ends what you're going to do is use the bottom of the scarf and kind of wrap your way back around it so that way the ends of it stay protected and they don't get all frizzy and gross. you do once you get to the end is go ahead and wrap it into a cool little cinnamon bun or a little space bun and then from there you're going to I usually like pin it so that way I it doesn't like unravel and I can work on the other side And since you guys have already seen this process, we are just going to do a quick run through the other side. After both sides have been completed, I tie both strands there together so that way they're secure, throw my satin scarf on for the night, and that's it. I'll show you guys the results in a little bit. I will see you all in the morning! And here is the final look. This is one way that I sometimes wear them. Um, they give me that like that ringlet. I just I don't know. I just I love the way that this looks. Um, it's just super cute, super soft, um, perfect ringlets. Like honestly, like the body, the volume is everything. This is the second way that I wear it. It is I usually will, like brush it out or like finger comb it, and it just gives me these like beautiful Diana waves like I love it if you guys try this tag me let me know but thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video yeah.